Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And today I will show you guys 15 iPhone settings that are really, really important and you should never change on your device. Now, before we get into that, I just want to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel. I'm very close to getting 250,000 subscribers. So if you're watching the video and haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do that. All right, the first setting you should never change on your iOS 14 device is emergency SOS. So when you go to emergency SOS, you will have here auto call. So if you disable this, basically this will be useless. Now auto call will actually automatically call the emergency contacts, of course, if you're having an emergency. That's a really, really important setting on your device. Of course, it will be very important for your safety. So always make sure that you have auto call turned on. The next setting we're talking about is find my. Now this is really important. You can find it at the top of your settings app when you go to your profile. And actually here we have three different settings into one and you should always have these turned on. So find my of course allows to locate your device. Then it's find my network. This is also very important. Basically, if you participate on find my network, this will let you locate your device even though it might be offline and then send less location. This one is also very, very important. Basically, this will automatically send the last location of your iPhone to Apple when the battery is very, very low and your iPhone is about to turn off, the last location of the device will be automatically sent to Apple. Of course, having Face ID, Touch ID and the passcode, of course, enabled on your device is always really important. But there are extra settings that you can find on this section. And one of them is require attention for Face ID. And this one is really important. Basically, the Face ID will require your full attention before unlocking your device. That, of course, makes it much, much secure. So always make sure you have require attention for Face ID enabled on your device and don't disable it. Then we have here attention awareness features. Now, this one is very cool. If you enable this, you have your iPhone and when it knows that you're watching your iPhone, you get a notification, you won't get a loud sound on the notification because it knows that you already have your attention on the device. And that, of course, makes it very, very useful. And of course, very neat to have those features. So always make sure that you have, of course, your face ID and passcode enabled and have enabled require attention for face ID as well as attention aware features. Something very simple yet very important on your device is time and date. When you go to settings, you go to general, you will have here time and date. Make sure that you'll leave it on automatic all the time. If you don't do that and actually turn this into manual and change the date of your device, then you won't be able to access websites, not even app store. Now websites work with certificates. If you change the date, they are dated of course. And if you change the date on your device, they will check that date and of course won't load the website. So if you're having those problems, maybe you can, you can load anything on the app store, make sure you check the date and have the correct date on your device. So always to make your life easier, always make sure that you set it on automatic. Now, when it comes to iPhones, of course, one of the most important things is the battery. And with the new iOS software, since iOS 13, Apple has introduced optimized battery charging. Now, optimized battery charging will be enabled on your device by default and never change it. Leave it on all the time. This will basically learn your patterns, how you use your device, and will, of course, charge your device based on your needs. But it will help your device a lot, the battery of your device on the long run. It will help keep the health of the battery high. So you can see here, I have 100% maximum capacity and always using optimized battery charging. This will make your device's battery run much, much longer in the long run. Now, when going to the App Store settings, there is a very important setting here called Upload unused apps. Now with upload unused apps, your device will automatically delete apps from your device that you haven't used in the while, but it won't completely delete them. You will still have all of their data on your device. And if you need that app in the future, all you got to do is just download the app and you will have everything back. But this setting will make your life easier as it will, of course, free up more space on your device automatically without you having to do anything. 
more free space of course you can do more stuff on your device and your device will even perform better if you have a ton of free space on your device so make sure you never change upload unused apps if you go to safari you will also find here a few settings that you should never change so one of them is block pop-ups if you have this enabled leave it that way it will just block annoying pop-ups that you get on different websites and then we have here other settings we have block all cookies this is turned off and keep it turned off don't change it don't turn it on because a lot of websites basically all websites use cookies a lot of them are good of course are bad cookies but most of them are good and that websites need to operate better and of course have your information maybe saved there so anytime you need to access something let's say you go to a website you add something to your cart or something like that when you go back you will still have that if you block all cookies that won't happen you will have to do that all over again and with ios 14 apple has introduced a new feature under your wi-fi settings called private address so when you go to any wi-fi network that you're connected on you tap on that little i button you go here you will see private address that has been enabled by default basically using this private address will reduce the tracking of your iphone across different wi-fi networks and this is a very good feature that Apple has introduced with iOS 14. So of course, leave this setting on and make sure you never turn it off. For the next setting, we're going under accessibility and we're going here to Siri. So you will have here an option to enable always listen for hey, you know what? So I'm not going to say the word. So basically enabling this will make your iPhone all the time listen for hey, you know the word. And of course that will consume a ton of battery as your iphone will always be prepared to listen to that word even though it might be in your pocket covered or it might be facing down on a table it will always stay active waiting for that command so make sure you turn that off and of course it will be off by default so all you gotta do is just never change it for the next setting we're going under the home screen settings this is a new section that has been added with ios 14 of course since the release of the new app library feature now right here you will find notification badges show in app library and it's enabled basically what this does when you go to your app library you will see their badges for apps that have notifications if you turn this off you go to the app library you might have there a ton of apps that you don't actually have on the home screen of your device but you won't see their notifications so always make sure that you have this turned on and never change it next we're going under display and brightness right here you will find auto lock now auto lock is a very important setting you might overlook it but it's very very important so if you go to auto lock you will have here a bunch of different options of course to make your device lock itself if you keep it at never this will basically leave your device unlocked if you don't lock it with the side button it will just stay unlocked you might forget it somewhere and it will stay unlocked and someone can have access to your phone but if you keep it at 30 seconds up to five minutes any one of them your device will automatically lock and it will be of course much much safer and last but not least we're going to auto brightness so what you need to do is go to display and text size and lower here we'll find auto brightness now this is a setting that i really recommend you never turn off of course i have it turned it off right now because i have to do this video and i don't want the brightness to go all the way up it won't look that good but keep it on all the time this adjusts the, the display's brightness based on the ambient you're on it will save battery life it will save your eyes as well keeping your brightness all the way up all the time will be very very bad for your eyes as well as for the battery life of your iphone so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are 15 iphone settings that i suggest you never change i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one